I want to achieve your best in um, sporting performance, in your exercises at the gym, just you getting better on a physical level and uh, aiming to elevate yourself and keep yourself healthy and getting healthier and building back your health. Knowledge is a big part of it and you can get that from personal trainers, from physios, from people who, who spend their whole life in that area. So you, you, you get, saves you a lot of time and trial and error and injuring yourself and coming back and getting the knowledge because you got injured, you get the knowledge then. Get the knowledge before you get injured. There's something called prehab. So you learn about how to move your body and how to have good movement patterns so you don't injure yourself. Then uh, the, uh, the main thing though is the motivation, which is really an, an emotional nature. So um, one of the worst things about injury, especially when you, you've got a goal, you want to move towards, you're really inspired, you're getting to the gym, you're getting out doing exercise, you're doing all the right things, but you build it up too quick, something happens, an error in your system occurs and you get an injury. It cuts the legs off where you were gonna go. So it, it really deflates your sails. So that, that feeling of uh, that emotional quality to the motivation can be really just drop out. It'll drop out into, into depression. It'll flip into, the, into the depression into uh, a lot of frustration, anger, um, sadness. You can't do what you want to do. You're really trying hard. You thought you're doing your best, but it's still, it's still failed. Um, uh, feelings of disappointment and devastation, depending on how significant the injury was or how significant you not achieving that goal in the time frame you wanted will be. So the, the emotional motivation qualities are a couple things you can look at um, and look at even, don't have to look at this while you're injured, look at this when you're not injured too. What is motivating you to do, to train so hard and do the thing that you're trying to do right now? Uh, sometimes it's misplaced and sometimes injuries are showing you that you have a misplaced, a lot of energy going in an area that if you put it somewhere else, it'll make um, better progress for your development as a, as a person. So some positive areas for the motivational quality of the emotions is you, you want to get healthier. You want to get healthier for other people. You want to be a role model for other people. That's huge to model behavior. That's one of the, that's a leadership quality right there. People don't, you have to, don't have to say anything. People just see it. They feel it in your energy as well, in, in your eyes, in your spirit. You see someone's spirit in their eyes. Someone who's depressed, you can see it pretty easy in their eyes. Someone who's really spirited and powerful, you see it in their eyes. And that's coming from how they're living their life and, and their thoughts, uh, emotional regulation, understanding the emotions. Um, moving forward in their life and having a, a really strong vision and purpose. So, um, so that kind of modelling. Um, athletes have a huge role to play in the in the, the collective and conscious and conscious of, uh, of of humankind. They show what humans are capable of doing, especially to do with endurance and overcoming obstacles and uh, and working through pain and suffering. Um, that's something about this world is pain and suffering. That's that's a fact of what this place is, um, and it's useful to get comfortable with working through discomfort and, uh, and how, to, how to navigate around pain and move into pain and understand the lessons inside. That's a huge place for athletes. Some of the negative qualities of uh, working really hard and thrashing yourself, especially if you're injured all the time and not happy, constantly never happy about your progress. What is the underlying need of why you have to work that hard? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to get validation externally from other people? That, that's a big one. There's like needs that need to be met that weren't given to you in childhood, usually. Um, maybe you were bullied and you're doing something to make you stronger so you, you don't feel disempowered anymore, so you feel more, more powerful. That's fine, that, that's a good thing to do. Um, maybe your parents were athletes or they pushed you into some sport you didn't really want to do but you didn't want to let, let them down. That's a big one and that can be a, a big, big uh, wake up call when you realize my body's damaged and I'm injured and I don't really enjoy my life because I push myself so much. It's not even my dream, it was their dream. Uh, that's a big realization. And you start moving on the path that you're actually meant to be on. So an injury in that way has a major role to play. There's a lot of lessons inside that. Maybe you exercise so much because you can't handle the emotions that's there. That's usually the biggest one. People run because it's, it, it's good for mental. Uh, clear the mind, get out and about. It's a, it's a way of producing more endorphins. So the feeling of sadness inside, the feelings of depression, of uh, anxiety in particular, or panic or terror, uh, fear of the next day, fear of other people, fear of having to stand up for yourself and that sort of stuff. It helps um, uh, balance those kind of feelings that are, that are always there. Maybe you don't know how to deal with that sort of stuff and, and we don't really get taught. So when you're injured, that becomes the problem. You don't have that outlet anymore. That, so the feelings of anxiety, depression, 
uh, whatever emotional things are already in the system, they start to percolate to the top because they have nothing uh, really pressing them down or dispersing them. So injuries in that way are a great way of learning, teaching you what the, the, uh, the gold inside anxiety is, inside depression, inside anger. It's the unfinished work inside yourself. That's part of what we do in this world, is to um, is better sit with discomfort, sit with depression, see what the answers are, see what the wisdom is. Within every emotion and every experience, there's gold inside of it if you look, or if you can't find it, you get someone else to help you navigate what it is because it has something very important to teach you. So if that's useful to any of you, um, I see it with injuries, that's why, I, that's why I say it. You can't do what you want to do and the emotional energy, the motivation energy goes. Uh, uh, and a big energy for motivation is anger as well. You get really pissed off that um, you can't do what you want to do, you're frustrated. It's a big energy to actually make a change for yourself. Anger is creative energy. Anger has a bad rap because of the danger associated to it, but anger, once used properly, it's a big energy of creativity and a boundary reinforcement and, uh, and, 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 and helping you become stronger inside as well, as long as you use it in a certain way. All the best.